In Darwin, hundreds of Indonesians have already had a chance to have their say in the presidential election. They'd earlier cast their ballots and will be watching the results come in from afar. The votes are in and the counting begins. For Indonesians voting in Darwin, like this 20-year-old accounting student, democracy sausage wasn't on the menu. This is my first time uh, voting and I'm not voting actually in Indonesia and I'm voting somewhere else outside Indonesia. Indonesian students in Darwin watched on as the fierce political debate on social media spread across the Timor Sea and into the Northern Territory. I think it's very brutal because they are mocking each other and criticise each other with a very bad uh, word. There's actually lots of people, especially in Darwin, that are like that and people starting to uh, hate each other even though they have like a different opinion about the, those candidates. But for these President Jokowi supporters, social media helped them organise a local get-together. Yeah, we're always uh, excited to, to be with the, around the people with same ideas with us. Indonesia doesn't allow dual citizenship, so for those living abroad, this is their only chance to cast a ballot. Because of it's like a call from their heart. They want to have the good leader, the right leader for our country. Political education, I think, in Indonesia is, is getting better and then people are now more understand about the, the importance of their political uh, politic, uh, participations. Indonesian election officials toured the various regions of the Northern Territory, reminding citizens to vote. Even they live abroad, they still have maybe their family there or people that they care is still living in Indonesia and then it's kind of like they know that this is important. It's an opportunity to reflect on where their country is headed. Now Indonesia is more open to young generation who want to involve in the politics and I think it can bring the better Indonesia in the future. The most important issue is the corruption. That it, all, it always happening uh, every year and we cannot deny that it's still happening in Indonesia and all over the world. Now they can only watch as the election result unfolds. Kate Ashton, ABC News.